guys, it's Shannon and Paul and today is a really fun and a really big video. It's probably hard to see but if you saw the thumbnail we have 10 of the amazing World of Miss Mindy vinyl figures. Awesome. We want to thank the World of Miss Mindy for sending all 10 of these to us to show with you guys today. That's right. So these are collectible vinyl figures. These are part of the Disney Showcase collection and they are just super cool. So we're getting a lot of glare on the packaging. I'm sorry about that. We're gonna be taking all 10 out of the box and showing you all the details because they're just too cool nice. not to. So let me show you that. Now this actually I grabbed is one of the series two packs. So we have five from series one and five from series two. So if Paul wants to grab Tinkerbell right up there on the sure. top, yep. we can show you these are the series two figures. Okay, and here's the series one figures. Yes, so these are, you know, all your classic favorite Disney characters. They all have a cool accessory inside. Yep. Um, let's see, who do we want to open? I think I want to start actually right here with Mickey Mouse. With Mickey, okay. Because it all started with Mouse. Nice. So here's Mickey with a little Pluto figure. I cannot wait to take a better look at this one. So this is my pick. Right, I'll stick with series one also, and I'll open up Tinkerbell because I'm holding her, and she's one of my favorite characters. Okay. So let's look at Mickey here. Oh, he's awesome looking. He is awesome. I am going to turn the camera down so we can see him a little bit better. So Mickey is whistling a little tune. Yep. There's a little music note coming right off the side of his mouth because he's... I yeah. can't whistle good. He's, he's whistling a tune to us. These are so cool. So I want to point out, first of all, they're a nice figure. Like, they feel nice in your hands. They're not, like, cheaply made. Yeah. But they're also somehow lightweight at the same time. I mean, there's a little bit of weight to them, but they're not as heavy as you would think they would be. They're just, like, a really cool vinyl figure. Yes. So, Mickey, of course, there's amazing details. The just interpretation of the characters to me is so cool. I like the stylization of it. it. It's colorful. It's like modern in its color yeah. palette, but it's got like the kind of classic look, like the retro look. Okay, so I think so that's pretty cool. Hold on. Paul was getting ready to show us Tinkerbell first. Uh, no. Oh, sorry. First, we have to look at Pluto. Pluto. You cannot forget little Pluto. So Pluto has his tongue out. He has a little heart at the end of his tongue. Ah, Super cute. cute. He has one little ear up in the air, and he has little music notes on him as well. So I think that's really cool that they come with some sort of accessory. So there is Mickey and Pluto. Super cute. All right, here is Tinkerbell. So she is really awesome looking. Now she is holding her wand. Like that is not removable that I can see. So, oh, okay, cool. So that's that. She has these clear wings, which are going to help her stand because she is on her tippy toes. Ooh, she has, yeah. Yep. She's like in a little ballet pose. Yep. So I don't, I don't know if this is like a, a thing for Miss Mindy, but like most of the girl characters have these hearts on the legs. Well, Mickey had the heart. Where did Mickey okay. have a heart? I feel like I saw a heart on Mickey. Maybe not. There's a heart on Pluto. Yeah. So maybe maybe those are like hidden hearts in all the characters. I don't know. These aren't hidden very well. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Tinkerbell. She has her hair in a bun with the blue ribbon. She is winking. That's cool. She's really cute. Like she's like looking off at something. I like that. And show the wings. I love yeah. the way those are designed. Yep. So they're clear. You can see through them. And those are going to help her stand. Because watch. She can stand up. Nice. Because you need her to stand up. Yep. Okay, so... Our table's not quite level. Yeah, our table is not level. That has go. nothing to do with the figure. <laughs> She's attacking Simon. Yep. Okay, I'll sit her over here on okay. my side. Um, yeah. My side there of the table yeah. is flatter than Paul's. Yeah, the middle there has so, like a bow in it. So, yeah. yeah. Probably from Simon sitting Probably. there. Probably. It has nothing to do with the figure. That was totally our table. As you saw, she <laughs> sat up. No problem. Okay, so let's pick two more. Okay. I think next, I'm going to move this one off to the side because I think Paul's going to want to open that one. Okay. I'm going to pick the Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat, okay. So Flip the Cheshire around. Cat is from Series 2. Okay. And I just knocked Tinkerbell over. All right. All right, well, I think I'm going to go, I'll go ahead and I'll open Jessica. She's from Series 2 also. Okay. So she's got a Roger in there. It has <laughs> fallen out of the plastic thing, but there's Jessica. 
Okay, so before Paul shows Jessica Rabbit, what I want to do is actually just move these figures off to the side. Oh, yeah, that works. So we have a little more room to show you guys, and then we'll show you everybody at the end. Perfect. Okay. Okay. All right, so here's Jessica. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I don't want to show the spotlight. That's right. So she has her awesome signature red gown on like she's performing at the club. She has poofy sleeves, which I don't remember, but I like the interpretation of that. I like the music notes on this sleeve and the heart over on that sleeve. She has the heart on one leg, which is cool. And then she's got this huge bow in the back. That's cool. Now that's gonna be like Tink's wings and help her stand. But I, what I really like is her awesome red hair. So that just looks really cool. And I like the expression on her face. So I wanna point out too, I love, I mean, you just said you like the expression, but I love the expression on her face and that yeah. big purple, purple eye shadow. I was just going to mention yeah, it. Yeah, she's awesome. Yep. So that is really cool. She got one little earring. <laughs> so that's awesome. And then sparkly dress. So very, very cool. Okay, I'm just going right. to set her, well. That's fine. She does come with one accessory. Roger. Little so here's Roger. Roger. His little eyes are hearts because, of course, he's in love with Jessica. And his little cheeks are rosy. Oh, there he is, little Roger Rabbit. Oh, I like the back. All right. Roger. Okay. Very cool. Kay. Next up is going to be the Cheshire Cat. Oh, he's cool. I like his yes. polka dotty ears. <laughs> so he has a really cool little mischievous grin on his face. This figure is a lot heavier than the other ones that he, I have opened. Probably his tail. Yeah, his tail is substantial. And again, like the other ones, his tail is built in to help him stand. I love the way Miss Mindy, like, designed these yes. to make that all kind of part of the figure. So look at that grin. I like the little heart-shaped nose. And then Cheshire Cat comes with this, and I have only seen part of Alice in Wonderland, and it was a really long time ago, so I'm really not sure what this is. I'm Paul, thinking, do you have an idea? I think it's part of the tree. I think it's like an interpretation of the tree, or it's the popcorn that you were eating in the movie with it bursting. <laughs> <laughs> it could be that. I doubt it's that. It's probably true. <laughs> so if you guys are Alice in Wonderland fans, please let us know down in the comments because yes. we would really like to know. Yeah. But even if you don't know, you can still collect the figures and enjoy them because, I mean, this is just an amazing figure. It is. I'm thinking so. it's the tree. Okay. All right. All right. You get to pick next. Okay. I think I'm going to pick... Let's see. I think I'm going to pick down here. I'm gonna move you can just Sally. Move that one. Oh no, we'll open Jack and Sally at the same time. Okay. So I'm gonna open up Stitch. Here's <laughs> Stitch with a little guitar and the bathing suit and stuff. Super so cool. So Stitch was part of series one. So I'm gonna open Stitch. Okay, I'm gonna go with the series one too. If Paul would get Minnie Mouse sure. out for me. All right. Thank you. No problem. Here is Miss Minnie. Miss Minnie. We have Miss Mindy Maidem and Miss Minnie, Minnie is who we're gonna open. Cool. All right, here is Stitch. Sorry, I scared Simon. <laughs> Simon's trying to take a nap. So Stitch looks awesome. So he's got his guitar. I love his eye. He's got one eye open. <laughs> it looks like a little Pac-Man with a star in it. <laughs> but I just love the expression on the face with like the mouth sideways. He has on these crazy shorts. It must be his stage shorts. And then he has the Elvis cape kind of thing on with his little toy guitar. Very he cute. He is ready to rock. And I also like the ears. They're like... Two different colors of pink stripe with the music notes. I know a lot of Stitch collectors are going to want that figure. Yeah, so I'll give that to you. Okay, mm. and he his accessory was attached, kind of yeah. like Minnie Mouse. Yes. Now hers does look like it can be removed, but she is holding it. She has a little yeah. lollipop there. Now, I don't think we mentioned yet, but these figures are um, produced by Inesco, which is a company that has been around a really long time, oh, and yeah. they make a ton of really high-quality, nice collectibles. Yeah, figurines. I actually used to work for a company that sold their product like 20-something years ago, yeah. so I'm very familiar with the company. Yep. Um, and these are just really cool. Simon's trying to steal the show over here. You can't see. He's, he's really asleep. Yeah. It's hard to tell on the camera from this angle, but he is... <laughs> He's trying to get in Paul's way and, you know, get all the attention. Yep. Okay, Simon, there is a mouse on the set. Why aren't you more concerned about this? He's like, I'll get that mouse later. <laughs> <laughs> so here is Minnie Mouse. She is safe. Simon is not going to get her. She has a really pretty yellow bow with some white details on the back. I love her little hat that she has with the daisy on the top. And she's just looking awesome, too. I love the way their faces look. Yep. 
She's very expressive. Just, yeah, she's really neat. And I love that she's in the blue and white polka dot dress with the little white bloomers because that's not something you see very often. Yeah, usually you get the red and white polka dot. Yeah. So super, super cool. Very cool. Okay, what would you like to open next? Um, I want to do um, Sally, and, Sally Jack. and Jack next. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and open Sally oh, from Nightmare Before Christmas. That means I get Jack. Look and how awesome he is. They are both in series two. Cool. So Simon is working really hard trying to get even closer into the camera here. Well, yeah. There you go. Now you can see the little sleeping kitty face. Okay. This is not my favorite character in the Disney universe, universe by far, but I think by far this is my favorite figure that I've it's opened. An amazing amount of detail. She is so amazing. So here is Sally. She is wearing her classic um, dress and... I, I just, I don't even know where to begin. There's so many different details. I love the little, like, skeleton or skull face up in her eyes right up here. Let me see if you can see that. I'm trying to get it a little closer. Oh, it's Jack. Um, look. Oh, she has Vampire Teddy. How cool is that? On the big bow on the back of her. And her hair is, like, yep. crazy big. <laughs> look at how awesome her you hair is. You have hair like that. <laughs> I'm going to, if I get hair like this, I'm going to wear a big black bow like this yeah. with Vampire oh, Teddy. Awesome. Like, in the back. Yeah. as the um, What do you call that when that's in the center of a bow? Um, oh, there's a name for it. I can't think of, of it. A, I've never heard it. I don't, I don't know what it would be. <laughs> anyway, she is really, really neat. And her accessory is the little pumpkin bucket. Oh, cute. So, you could actually put a few little things in the top of it. And you can see it right there. I called it a pumpkin, but a little skull uh -huh. bucket. Now, it has this little notch right here, and she has a little notch in her hand. So you can actually put oh. that on her, and she holds it, or you can keep it separate, whatever you like. But you saw how easy that went on, but yet she holds it. Like, yep. it stays. So she is awesome. That's all I got to say. She's awesome. Yep. All right. Here's Jack. And I'm with you. Jack is not my favorite character in the Disney universe. I know that he is a lot of people's, yes. but this figure is amazing. So let's start <laughs> with this big top hat here. He's got the skull and he's got the pinstripe. His his head looks amazing. His hair is fantastic. Yep. Yeah. I, well, I just love the, again, the expression. It's very, sim it's very simple, but it's very expressive. I like the use of color. It's got the purple, the blue there. He has the pinstripe suit on with this big flared bat collar. And I love the pumpkin. The pumpkin yeah. is like a nice glossy orange. Looks great. He has the big tail sweeping out the back, which are going to help him stand. But just awesome. What Shan, I'll grab that oh, in just a minute. Oh, there's another accessory too? Yes, he has wow. zero. He comes with zero. So zero has the little pumpkin nose, floats. Ooh. So zero can sit right next to him. Right there. Jack That's and cool. zero. So awesome. All right, we have two figures left. Okay. Shannon, who do you want to open? So you go ahead and take you Alice. can't even see Alice. Alice is up there. So there's Alice. Alice in Wonderland. I think she is series one. She is not. She's no, series two. She's series two. I have series one, which is Ariel. Okay. So I'm going to open up Ariel. Okay, I'm going to show you Ariel first. Ariel. So here is everyone's favorite mermaid. Yep. Ariel. So... She's pretty cool because she is not like classic looking Ariel to me because these yellow big poofy yeah. sleeves are not something that I remember seeing on Ariel. That seems to be a trademark. I'm seeing all the girl characters have the big poofy sleeves. And I love that. I do too. That's like super yeah. duper cute. So I love this Ariel because she is a little bit different than the rest of the Ariel figures on the market or that yeah. you might be able to collect. And... Her fin, her tail, is a really cool turquoise color, yep. which I'm loving. Her hair is super awesome and, again, ginormous. But she has these awesome little starfish <laughs> on the back of her hair. Patrick. They're <laughs> They're going along for a ride. Yep. And what every good mermaid princess needs is a dingle hopper. A dingle hopper. To brush her hair. Brush so her. she has a fork or her little dingle hopper. I love the, I love her eyes. I love it, like the, the way they shaped them. Yeah. That's awesome. So she is another gorgeous, gorgeous yep. figure. And she has the heart there. She has the heart belly button. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, here is Alice. Alice is amazing. Alice is one, is one of my favorite Disney characters. I've just, just always liked her. So she has the big classic Alice blue dress on with the big poofy sleeves, which actually those are real. <laughs> Alice yes. really does have those. She has the little dormouse in <laughs> her pocket there. 
she has little hearts on her white tights and then a matching heart on a little teacup. Now, what's kind of neat is hopefully you can see it on the back of the teacup. You can actually see There's the tea. tea. Yep. Or coffee. She has the huge <laughs> white bow, which is styled just like Sally's or um, Tinkerbell or Minnie, where that's going to help her stand. And then, of course, she has the big black bow in her hair. And she has a beautiful expression. Now, she actually has both eyes open. A lot of the girl characters are winking, so I like that she has both eyes open. So that's pretty cool. And again, she has that cool shape of the eye. So we're going to show you the entire collection here, but it's kind of arranged oddly. This is why. We have because a big... there's a giant Simon in the way. Yep. So this is like behind the scenes right here. Maybe that'll be Miss Mindy's next character she paints. Maybe. Or Lucifer. Designs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lucifer would okay. be awesome. So we have Jessica and Mickey up front here. <laughs> That's an odd couple. Yeah. Well, but they both have the cool... Yep. Um, accessories they the do. white ra or the rabbit roger rabbit yep. not the white rabbit tinkerbell cheshire cat and his exploding popcorn ariel and the dingle <laughs> hopper there's sally back there stitch minnie alice and jack now shannon i think we need to pick favorites <sighs> yeah it's gonna be really tough i know that is really tough. So I have to go with Sally as my overall favorite. She just Sally. has so many amazing details. Yeah. Um, but if I could pick a second favorite, I think I'd go with Mickey Mouse. Oh, wow. Okay. Right up front. I love Mickey. him and Pluto. All right. So. Okay. What about you? I love Jessica. I love the expression on her face. Um, I have to go overall with the detailing of Jack. Whoa. So, so Jack and yeah, Sally Jack and it. Sally. It's a power couple. <laughs> How about you guys? Which one of these did you like the best? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the share button so your friends can see it. And make sure to subscribe if you're not already. That will make you part of the PS Toy Reviews crew where Simon takes up most of the set. Thank you one more time to Miss Mindy M. Nesco for sending these awesome figures. We sure did enjoy them. We hope you guys did too. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.